Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A person has two homes. And he travels from one home to the other home. And it's beyond the khilaf between the ulama, the difference of opinion, whether it's 120 or 80 or outside of the city, whether the person is then considered a traveler or not. We're not talking about that right now. We're just talking about one person traveling from one place to another place. And it's beyond any kind of difference of opinion between the ulama as to whether he's a traveler. He is definitely a traveler. He's moved from one house to another house. What is the ruling now when he reaches the destination of the second home? Is he a traveler or is he a resident? Now what I understand from your question here is that you live in one country and you are visiting your home country but when you are visiting that is not your house that is your family home, that is your parents home you do not own that home If that is the case then you are a traveler unless if you stay for more than four days then you become resident Okay? Right but let's say, now that's the first scenario. Second scenario, there are two homes and you own both homes. They are literally your home. And uh, you might not necessarily have the same amount of time in both places, but they are your homes and you are resident in both places. What is the ruling then? Now some of the ulama have said, when you travel from one home to the other home, irrespective of how long you're going to stay there, even if it's 24 hours or three days, any time less than the four that they have said that you then take the ruling as a resident, you become a resident as soon as you arrive because that's your home. Whereas others from the ulama, and I think this view is stronger, and this is the view that our Sheikh Sheikh Salah Shithri taught us as well, which is that the ruling is connected to traveling and not connected to things that you own. So if you go from one house to the other house and you're going to stay there for one day, two days, three days, or four days or less, then you take the ruling of a traveller even if it is your home, even if it is your house, you are still a traveller because you are not staying there and you do not consider yourself as staying there for a long period of time, you are just going to move on. So in that scenario, you are not a resident. So now this now clarifies both you know, situations and Allah knows best what situation you are in, but I think that the first one is probably uh, more likely in your case uh, but practically speaking when a person is traveling from one house to another house and even if he doesn't own both homes uh, the practical application of it doesn't really change much I mean if you're going to stay there for four days or more then you become a resident anyway and if a person's going to travel that distance it's not conceivable that they're only going to stay there for a day or two days and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.